Alright, this is um, my new wind vane. I've just completed. Um, and it all seems to be working very, very good. So I'll give you a quick rundown on exactly what's what. Um, the, the vane itself um, is made out of some roofing material. It's um, been around for quite a few years, but it's bulletproof and it's really good. It's about, the one I've got is about 8mm um, thick. Could be 10, I'm not sure if it's 8 or 10. But it's, um, it is, it just doesn't bend in, in the weather, it doesn't twist, and it's really, it is virtually bulletproof and it is super, super light, um, which is really why I wanted it. And I made the, the actual, the vein out of that. Then what, what I've done is I've got some very thin plate. It's mightly uh, one mil, one and a half mil thick. And I've actually folded it. Then I cut the shape I wanted. Then I opened it up a little bit more and I dropped a, um, a 10 mil spindle um, through it. Then I got it in a vise and I actually just squashed it until I got the shape I wanted and the spindle went through and I opened it up a weeny bit so the spindle would run freely. Then I just cut the two slots, these um, two slots here out. So I cut up, along, down, same both sides. Then um, I could actually put the spindle then I could put this, this spindle right the way through and I cut this all shoe shape out of, out of a, a piece of uh, stainless as well, thicker stainless and I welded a, a, a pipe right the way across which kept it all in line then I just cut it off with a cut, it, uh, cut in disc and, um, after it was welded on of course then um, I just put these two little I've got little bearings, um, these little bearings here that you can buy from Burnscoes. I just um, slotted, slotted them in and they suited the 10 mil pipe. And as you can see, it, it, it runs really, really sort of like it, it, it just runs so, so easy. Then what I've done is I drilled a hole just here, here, just to, to lock all this in and one through the middle to take um, to take a little pin um, which I got it out of a, in a um, an adjuster actually I already had the little end on but I screw it into whatever what I want it's actually 30 mils out from the centre and it's got a little hole in the end but what I actually do then is I made these little brackets up um, it's not a very good one this one but you make it up and I've got a bit of aluminium rod which I I've got um, a, a nut, not a nut, um, a bolt. I threaded it inside, it's hollow tube, and I make these up. So they, they actually, you can turn these, so they, so when you turn all this around, they never lock up. They, um, they all, you can turn it in any, any angle you want into the window, ever what, and it works quite good. But these, these are quite how it's working now in the wind. And that pushes the rod up and down, which um, goes all the way down this tube. And this tube is the next size down from two inch. Then the bottom bit of tube, which is clamped onto the bow, is um, actually two inch. So this one fits into the two inch. And I just cut a piece off the top here and I pop riveted it on to stop it going. So what it actually means is you can actually slide it around everywhere you want uh, face it into the wind so I'll show you what I mean like when you face it into the wind of course um, that, that vane's going to come <laughs> can't find the wind now uh, the vane is set up straight but the wind, <laughs> it's a wind's all over the shop at the moment um, here we are oh yeah no it's too it's too fluky down here there, there we are we're into the wind now and it'll stay straight so when I turn it off, then the wind should it should pick up the wind again, and um, then we'll be blowing. That should be facing into the wind actually like that. But um, yeah. So what actually happens? It drives the pin. The uh, rod drives up and down, and it comes right the way down to the bottom. And this is where um, 
when it moves, you're, you're just it's starting to move now. The, the, when the vein goes over, it drives this little um, tab in and out, like backwards and forwards, which um, will, what I'm going to actually do, this bit here has a bike cable on, and it has a, it, there's another little fitting goes on here with the cable going through here, and that's driving the cable backwards and forwards. And then all that does is that goes round to my um, trim tab on my boat, which is really super light to drive. It drives a trim tab, which is on the back of my rudder, and the rudder, of course, reacts to the trim tab. So that steers, that's how I steer, and don't need any power or anything, and it's just wind steering, and I can go from here to Fiji, everywhere I want, and just using the wind without any power, so it's quite good. There, there it is, right over. What I sh should do is um, I should actually put a weight on it while it's here, um, because it just damps it a bit, like see, yeah, it it'll damp it a bit, so it doesn't bottom out on the boat. I don't have that problem because, um, yeah, of course, as soon as it goes, it turns into the wind, so then the, the thing doesn't bottom out at all. But because I can't turn it into the wind here, I got um, it just stays as it is. Um, you need a weight on just to stop it bottoming out all the time. But basically, that's it. Uh, it's pretty. Straightforward. Other than I've got a little tab, um, that little tab there, I have a, a string or a rope goes around through that and around the pipe both ways. Then to change the direction, I just pull on the rope uh, left or right to, so I don't have to get out the back, like right at the back of the boat. I can just have it pleated off where I want and I just pull the rope and it turns it. And I can get what uh, position I want the tab to be in. That's all. Over.